Hello, my name is Stefan Münzinger. I'm the manager for Ford Performance in Europe. And today I want to introduce the all new Puma ST. I'll give you some technical insight of what this car is all about. Now what's special about it, it's the first SUV in the European Ford Performance lineup. And we targeted to create a car that combines the urban utility, the day-to-day -day practicality of an SUV with the ST-ness and the fun to drive. Fun to drive being the overarching premise of any Ford Performance product. So in the exterior, the first thing that really stands out is the color. It's a mean green. It's a color which is uh, unique to Puma ST. And Puma ST also features a high gloss black exterior theme. So certain parts are always in high gloss black, starting with the roof. This particular car has a panel roof, but non-panel roof vehicles have painted black roof as standard. And the theme continues into the rear wing, uh, side spears and mirror caps. So the black theme continues to the front. Uh, we have the ST logo embedded in the front grille. And then there is a part I want to point out to you, which is the front splitter here. It's an additional part that's mounted to the bottom of the, of the bumper. It's unique for ST. So it's an aerodynamic part. It improves uh, drag, reduces the drag. At the same time, increases downforce. So from an aerodynamic perspective, it's really a bit of a win-win. And besides that attribute effect, uh, the visual appearance is pretty cool. It differentiates the car. I, I really like this part, in particular the Ford Performance letters uh, on top of it. Two things I want to point out at the rear of the car. We have a unique diffuser for ST and the exhaust. Pretty clean, honest design, you know, dual pipe, stainless steel, slash cut, no fake features like some of the competitors have. And the exhaust features a valve. So the valve, depending on drive mode and drive condition, opens up and it amplifies the raspy i3 sound. And when you start revving this thing, it actually sounds pretty cool. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the wheels. The vehicle comes standard with 19-inch alloys on 225-40 tires. The rim design, there are two different rim designs. There is uh, a magnetite matte painted rim and then there is a machined version of this rim. And this particular car has the machined rim. On the tire, it's a Michelin Pilot 4S tire. It's out of the Michelin High Performance Tire lineup. And we developed this tire together with Michelin, specifically for Puma ST. And there's actually a Ford Performance imprint uh, on the tire, on the sidewall FP, which indicates that this specification is uh, particular for Puma ST. And that's a tire that you can also get via the Michelin aftermarket channels. So let's talk about some of the essential ingredients that actually make it an ST. The engine, it's a 1.5 liter EcoBoost with a manual transmission. It's based on a Fiesta ST. So it's an i3 engine boosted, which provides a pretty good balance between uh, performance and efficiency. We up the torque from 290 Newton meter in Fiesta ST to 320 Newton meter in Puma ST. And we also shortened the final drive ratio slightly to compensate for the larger wheels. So as a result, we're getting pretty good acceleration performance. Uh, zero to 100 is at 6.7 seconds and VMAX is at 220 kph. We also offer an optional Quive limited slip differential for improved uh, front end uh, traction. So the Quive, in combination with torque vectoring, also depending on the drive modes, actually provides really good road holding and avoids understeer behavior. There's another key ingredient I need to mention to you, which is the brake system. We actually upsized the brake system uh, significantly versus Space Puma. It has a 325 millimeter disc in the front. So these brakes really provide sustained braking performance, also when you're taking it on the track. We did take this car to the Nürburgring quite a bit during its development and the brake system actually behaved uh, quite well out there. Now on driving dynamics. Um, so obviously this car is an SUV with a higher center of gravity. So we had to be innovative and clever uh, to deliver the ST type driving dynamics. 
So starting with anti-roll bar in the front, uh, twist beam in the rear, which is about 50% stiffer versus uh, base Puma. And we achieve this via a thicker U-profile and also an added torsion bar into the U-profile of the twist beam. Then we have unique stiffer bushes all around on the suspension. We have a unique uh, knuckle on the car to get us to the road center where we want it to be and also improves the steering ratio. And we have um, unique springs and shocks. Shocks are from Hitachi, twin tube in the front, mono tube in the rear. The shocks feature an FRD system, frequency responsive dampening, which helps to uh, improve rolling plushness when you're going over small inputs or so rough road surfaces. But at the same time, the shocks have the control, that we, the dampening and the control that we want for an ST when you go over bigger events. And then steering. Steering, key for any ST. Uh, I mentioned the knuckle, unique geometry, but we also have a unique steering rack with a quicker ratio. So knuckle in combination with the unique rack overall delivers a 25% quicker steering ratio. So the steering response, turning response is actually exceptional of this car. It's key for any ST and this car provides great connected feel. So Estinas is one thing, but this car remains to offer the SUV practicality. Flexible load department with best-in-class trunk space, and of course, the innovative Megabox, which features another 80 liters of additional storage volume, which easily fits your most important gear. Let's take a look at the interior. First thing that greets you are the Ford Performance scuff blades. Inside the car, the recovery seats are another key ingredient for ST. Nice side bolstering to provide optimum uh, side support. And also the Macro Dynamica fabric uh, provides good grip and actually also feels quite nice. And we have metal gray stitching all around. Um, a unique gear shift knob on the ST with uh, red lettering. And then the steering wheel, flat bottom steering wheel with the ST logo on the bottom and uh, drive mode switches directly on the steering wheel. We have four drive modes in ST, Eco, Normal, Sport and Track. Now they can be selected via a mode button on the steering wheel where you basically toggle through the drive modes and then select the one you want. Or there is also an S button on the steering wheel. It's a direct sport select button. So whenever you press that button, uh, you directly and instantly go into sport. I like to call it the fun button. And typically where you would use this is when you drive on the road and you see some, some corners coming and you say, okay, I want to do these corners in sport mode maybe. And then you just simply push it and then instantly you're in, you're in that mode. So quite a lot of stuff comes standard on ST. It's things like heated seats, steering wheel, heated front windshield, parking sensors front and rear, 19 inch alloys, and then on the interior we have recovery seat standard. The three optional packs on Puma ST, there's a performance pack which contains the Quaif uh, LSD and launch control, and then there's a driver assistance pack, and then last but not least there's a special X package which contains the machined rims and LED headlamps. So this concludes my walk around of Puma ST, first European Ford Performance SUV. I hope you enjoyed and uh, learned a bit more about the car. We think it nicely combines the utility and style of an SUV with ST-ness and fun to drive. Orders can be placed from September onwards and deliveries will actually start right before Christmas.